Today, clinicians can provide more effective treatment for their patients with the Humac Norm Isokinetic Testing and Rehabilitation System. Physical Therapy with the Humac Norm When a patient is tested on the Humac Norm, the clinician has the information needed to design the ideal treatment plan. As a sample, the Humac Norm test synopsis might be Performed isokinetic knee extension and flexion test on Humac Norm throughout the range of motion. Graphic and numeric comparisons of involved to uninvolved side indicate knee flexion strength is symmetrical throughout the entire range of motion. Knee extension has a deficit in eccentric mode of contraction from 95 to 35 degrees range of motion. The greatest deficit, 31%, occurs at 70 degrees. Physical therapy program will focus on improving strength in knee extension from 95 to 35 degrees. Retest once a month. See the attached Humac Norm test report. Research has shown other forms of strength tests, such as manual muscle test, handheld dynamometer, or three hop test are not as accurate, informative, or actionable as an isokinetic test. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, and ankle. The Humac Norm offers 22 isolated joint patterns. Isolating the joint allows the clinician to measure the weakest link in the kinetic chain. The shoulder, elbow, or wrist, not the arm. The hip, knee, or ankle, not the leg. Isolated joint testing and exercise eliminates substitution and delivers a more accurate and repeatable test result. Test a patient twice on the Humac norm and their first question will be, how did I do compared to my first test? The Humac norm progress report, available in seconds after a follow-up test is completed, clearly answers this question using bilateral graphic and numeric comparisons of the involved and uninvolved side from the initial and follow-up tests. Nine times out of 10, the Humac norm is used for exercise. The Humac norm offers numerous treatment options. Passive mode is used to increase the patient's range of motion and reduce pain and swelling. Isometric exercises improve the patient's stability, neuromuscular re-education, and tissue loading. Isotonic mode is used to restore neuromuscular control, muscular endurance, and rate of force production. And finally, isokinetic mode is used to increase strength as well as eccentric and deceleration control. Each mode offers appropriate feedback displays that motivate patients, keep them actively engaged, and help to facilitate the rehabilitation process. Treat better when you see what you are treating. If your goal is to treat better, then the Humac Norm is your treatment solution. Contact CSMI for additional information on the Humac Norm isokinetic testing and rehabilitation system.